as a big West Conference team. Deuce Johnson and Khalil Kelly. Kelly wins it in the backcourt for Pacific, and the black clad Tigers will take it across the timeline, left to right, Lorenzo McLeod. Out of Compton High School in Santa Rosa, JC. Up top, Fitz, Colin Beatty. To the right corner, it goes for Travis Fulton, two-point country. Fulton goes to the dribble, into the paint. Stops and pops up top for McLeod. Back right side, it goes for Fulton. Fulton comes side of the lane. Floater shot with the right hand is no good. Rebound, Jared Brandon and the Titans, clad in white. And across the timeline into the attacking 47 feet for the first time tonight. Going Eastern goal to our left here at Titan Gym. Left side is for Jared Brandon in the corner. Brandon brings the dribble into the paint. And then he has the ball punched out of bounds from behind. And out of bounds it goes to Fullerton, 21 on the clock. Yeah, Jared Brandon's been put in the starting lineup the last couple games in place of um, Sam Yeager with the back injury. Kwame Vaughn to trigger. Vaughn on the baseline goes corner right to Brandon. Brandon will bring it with a dribble out in front. And it's for DJ Seeley. Seeley drives in the middle of the Pacific defense, gets tripped and fouled by Colin Beatty. Colin Beatty, 6'4 and 205, a senior from Atlanta, Maryland, by way of Barton County Junior College in Kansas. His first foul of the game is the first of the game. And again, out of bounds to Fullerton, this time with a new clock. The Titans, fourth in the nation in scoring. They're now under 80 points a game for the first time all season. And the Titans have it right side with Seeley. Seeley takes the dribble up top, hands off on a wave to Alex Harris. Harris backs out with a dribble. And now they want to reset with Kwame Vaughn at the controls. Left side to DJ Seeley. Pacific starting in a zone defense here at the start. A 3-2 zone defense. Right side is for DJ Seeley. He gets tripped and fouled for the second time on the possession. Over there, it was Sama Taku. 6-1 and 185, a junior from Tucson. And again, the Titans have it with a new clock on the baseline. So the Pacific Tigers playing a lot of defense. And the Titans inbound it to Seeley. Seeley pump and shoots it and gets fouled after drawing Beatty into the air with a shot fake from the right side at 15 feet. Seeley's going to the line for two on the foul by, uh, by Colin Beatty, his second of the possession. And let's see how Seeley does at the free throw line. He only shot six for nine at uh, Corpus Christi on Saturday. DJ Seeley going back to the Pacific game. He did make five threes against the Tigers. He's in and out on the first free throw. Seeley and Vaughn have not shot free throws as well down the no. stretch. And, you know, yeah, they Vaughn, are, Vaughn went five for eight in Texas also. Which isn't terrible, but it's, it's not up to their standards of where they were start of the season and middle of the season. Seeley straightens it out and makes the uh, free throw. And the Titans have the first point of the ball game on the, off their first possession. And we're inside of 19 minutes to go. First half, one nothing, Cal State Fullerton. Into the game very quickly for Beatty with the two fouls is Rodrigo de Sosa out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. And a junior college transfer. So de Sosa goes down the middle, gets it stripped out of his hands. And it was last touched by the Titans out of bounds to the Tigers with 16 on the clock. Pacific is very low in the conference in overall points, but their top half of the conference in shooting so percentage, which means they're getting good shots, but they're using a lot of clock. De Sosa inbound, throws it out in front to Kelly, who makes an over-the-shoulder catch. Hand off in the midcourt line to Taku. Taku has it poked in the backcourt. He retrieves it, brings it back across the timeline, gives it off on the right side to the baseline cutter, Travis Fulton, and Fulton scores for Pacific at the basket. Yeah, the, the Titans went hard to get the steal out in front, and then... It was set up for Fulton on the right side. Yeah, Fulton went 13 points against Fullerton last time out. Vaughn drives, kicks it left side to Brandon. Brandon not much of a threat from the outside, dribbles into the middle and slips on his own and is called for traveling as he fell to the seat of his pants. The second player to slip already today in this game. And uh, already a couple of Titans have fallen in that area, whether being tripped, fouled by Pacific or that time Brandon simply losing his balance on his own as he tried to come to the jump stop. Full court pressure by the Titans. Pacific breaks it with McLeod dribbling hard across the timeline. Taku drives into the middle and makes a couple of pivots, puts up a turnaround and scores from the middle. Sama Taku, a Tucson native, born in Cameroon, and a junior college transfer for Pacific. A lot of these guys are for the Tigers. They lead four to one. Titans have a front court as Pacific has gone to a more traditional man-to-man -man defense. And here's Vaughn pulling up in the lane. His shot needs a bounce, but doesn't get the right one. But then Pacific on the rebound had two guys in the same spot. They couldn't get together and figure out who was going to take it, and it bounces off their legs out of bounds. Yeah, Coach Thomas and I immediately looked at his response. He had like he basically said, "Come on!" Yeah, come on, man. Their moment for Pacific. As two Tigers dropped it out of bounds. They have to defend again. The Titans with a new shot clock down four to one. Ball is out in front for Jerry Brandon on the inbound. In terms so, of possession time, Fullerton's controlled it so far. So far, a very slow pace. That's the way the Pacific Tigers want it. Titans work it in between the zone, and Pacific has gone back to the zone. 
That's three-pointer from up top is missed by Harris, but rebounded by Jared Brandon on the offensive glass, and the Titans will keep it again. So we are looking at a soccer-style possession game. This is 80% Fullerton right now, 20% Pacific. Brandon on the left side, passes middle to Seeley. Seeley in the paint, puts up a tough shot over two bigger guys, and the shot rebounded off the miss by Khalil Kelly. Kelly passes to Taku. Taku takes the front court, gives it off to the right side of the lane, and that's Fulton lefty jump hook there for Travis Fulton, and the Tigers lead 6-1. to one. Yeah, Fulton hasn't been playing too well the last couple games, shooting only 3 for, three for 14, but it's 2 for 2 so far. Titans made their fewest field goals of the season, still won in the bracket buster at Texas A&M Corpus Christi on Saturday. Titans down 6-1 to one in the front court. Seeley drives all the way, gets to the basket, but blows the layup, rebounded by Travis Fulton. Nasosa takes it across the timeline, left to right for the Tigers. Who lead it 6-1. to one. Travis Fulton to the right side for Taku. Taku, shake dribble, pull up long two on the right side. No good. Rebounded by James Deuce Johnson. And he hands off to Harris. Harris takes it to the timeline and across it for Fullerton. Titans in white against Pacific in black. 6-1 to one, Pacific. Vaughn trying to work in on McLeod. Doesn't get anywhere with a dribble. Passes up top for Seeley. Seeley trying to work in on McLeod after a switch. Seeley passes left side. It goes into the hands of Brandon. Almost stolen that time by Fulton on the intercept, but Fulton couldn't hold it. Titans still have it with 10 on the clock. Vaughn working free throw line. Now to the right elbow. Leans in. Tough shot off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Khalil Kelly to DeSosa. To the timeline. Now front court. DeSosa coming down in the lane against two Titans. Ball stripped out of his hands on the shot attempt by Deuce Johnson. DeSosa looking for contact there. Scoreboard show, six for the Pacific Tigers, one for Cal State Fullerton. It almost seemed like both teams, Pacific and Bobby was looking. Then they've since, they had, they won two games in the big NCAA. They won as a 12 seed against Providence in 05 or 04, some, some year like that. And then they, of course, won as an eight seed. But since, they have not gotten back to the NCAA They've tournament. Not, they, one time they made it to the Big West Final, that was in 2009, losing to Northridge in overtime. That year they were close to getting back to the NCAAs. But since, not as close. And this team is hoping to send their coach out with a trip to the NCAAs. It'll be pretty ironic if they were to play against Hawaii in the Big West Tournament, the new team against the team leaving. Pacific has it, 6-1, to one, they're ahead. 15-28 left, first half. Pacific with five returning starters on this year's team and 11 returning lettermen from last year's team that was basically an all-new team last year, but this year, all returners. Left side to Sosa, up top it goes for... Uh, Taku, Taku looking to work in on Seeley. Seeley with a good defense, forcing them back out with a dribble. Taku backs it out to midcourt, still with it with four on the clock. He drives down the middle, floater shot over two big guys is no good. Rebounded by Travis Fulton. New shot clock for Pacific, lob under to Kelly, and he throws it up and in on the catch in midair. Eight to one Pacific and the Titans without a field goal, and we're five minutes in, 14.50 remaining first half. Pacific is one of the better defensive teams in the Big West Conference. You look at them and they're not crazy athletic like Long Beach is, but they're very good, very sound, very well coached. Yeah. The foul on Pacific is going to be their fourth foul as that one went on Lorenzo McLeod. Titans have the ball still front court now with a new shot clock. Yep. Ball goes cross court left side to Chris Collins, the former walk-on out of Chino Hills High School. Dribbles the middle, passes up to Seeley. Seeley drives the left and passes into a turnover, looking to pass it into the middle. The Tigers have it now front court ahead 8-1. to one. 14.25 remaining first half. Titans still without a field goal, and really, how many good looks have the Titans had? Not many. They had some chippies down low. Over the top pass, nice steal by Harris. He was fronting Fulton. Kelly thought he could get the pass over the top. Harris takes it all the way, and against Kelly, he draws a foul at the basket. Alex Harris, a very good play, and that's one where Pacific underestimates a 6-1 Alex Harris. They didn't realize he could jump up and steal that over the top pass from big guy to big guy. Kelly looking for Fulton. He's seventh in the confidence in steals. 1.5 per game. They said no foul. It was simply stripped out of bounds. So out of bounds it goes to Cal State Fullerton. Yeah, Pacific defense, second in the conference, 63 points per game. On these inbound plays, Pacific has gone zone. I think most of the time, the rest of the way, they've been man. Left side is for Harris. 14 on the clock. Down the middle it goes to Vaughn. Vaughn at the basket to get his shot blocked out of bounds. And they said last touch by Vaughn. 
Bolton with a good block from behind Kwame Vaughn, who had the inside position. I was going to say, when was the... I know the Fullerton offense has at times struggled against teams such as, I believe, Bakersfield here earlier this year. It's Irvine, but when was... I was going to say, when was the last time they went over six minutes without a field goal? And, and really had not very many good shots at all. Usually they at least get good shots, even though they miss them from the outside. Tony Gill's in the game for Pacific, and the Tigers swing it around to the left side ahead, 8-1. to one. McLeod, three-point shot from the left is no good, and the rebound is tapped out of bounds. Last touch by the Titans. It'll stay with Pacific with a new shot clock. 13-33 remaining first half, Pacific 8 and the Titans 1. If anything, Fullerton is fortunate to only be down 8-1. I would say so. Tony Gill into the game for Pacific. 35 combined points his last two games. And on the inbound pass, there's a foul away from the ball. A foul away from the ball on Pacific. They haven't put the number up yet, but that's going to be Pacific's fifth foul. So to the bench are a couple of Tigers. They're very deep. They play team defense. They also rebound as a team. I think uh, Khalil Kelly's their leading rebounder, but only 3.7 rebounds a contest. They really rebound as a team. And then... Uh, they're bringing in a lot of guys off the bench. Marcus Duran is in a six-foot senior guard from Murray, Utah. A JC transfer, another one for Pacific. Colin Beatty is back in. Tony Gill at six foot eight. Yeah, Coach is Tom a JC transfer from uh, from uh, Roseville originally, and yeah. then also a Ross Rivera is in the game at six seven and two twenty five from Visalia. Yeah, Co I was going to say Coach Thomason was one of the first in the Big West to really go for uh, JC transfers. And this team, uh, with a lot of the guys having come in last year. 95 of the Big West Conference. Seeley drives the middle, drives into traffic, then tries to pass back up top, and the ball was stolen by Pacific. So again, the Titans, another turnover, and eight to one, Pacific ahead with the basketball. If not for the Titans, pretty good defense to start. Pacific would be better ahead, as you said, Patrick. Left side it goes for Marcus Duran. Out in front it comes for DeSosa. Right side for Beatty. In low to Ross Rivera. Double team on the low right, and he's pivoting around, and the Titans reach in and foul him. Rivera was in a tough spot there. He's pivoting, looking for space, and the Titans reached in and bailed him out with a foul. First foul on Jared Brandon. That's the first Titan foul. The thing with this Fullerton team, I don't know if you've seen it, uh, Mike. Have, have you seen a Fullerton team start off slow and then go get hot later in the game? I think it's been a while since maybe earlier you, in the season, maybe non-conference. Usually they start off. Usually, usually they start off fast and then go slow. Seeley and uh, Harris checking out for Cal State Fullerton. Jordan Knox, another walk-on for Cal State Fullerton, as the Titans very, very thin. A six-foot uh, guard is Jordan Knox, a senior from Las Positas Junior College in Livermore. And also into the game for Cal State Fullerton, James Douglas out of Orange Lutheran and transferred from Northern Arizona. Ball is in the left corner for Rivera. He drives the base, gets bumped out of bounds by Jared Brandon. That'll be Jared's second foul and the Titans' second foul. So now foul trouble on Brandon. So Bruce Johnson, if he got comfortable on the bench, he's probably got to get uncomfortable pretty quickly. And there he goes to the scores table. 8-1 to one Pacific ahead with 12.40 remaining first half. A very weird start. It seems like there's not a, just, there's just no offensive cohesion. It's, it's a defensive game right now. Uh, Fullerton hasn't even had a three-point shot attempt. Left side, Durant taking a three for Pacific, misses. The rebound is fought for, and it will be a foul on Cal State Fullerton. As DeSosa got a step on Jordan Knox going in for that offensive board. Knox grabbed him and fouled him, and it's out of bounds for Pacific with a new shot clock. 8-1 to one Pacific. 12.36 remaining. Ball is into the right corner for Duran. He dribbles out to the wing. Passes up top for DeSosa. Titans in man-to-man -man defense. Ball goes right side for Beatty. Beatty looking in low. Tony Gill has it. If he can catch it with one hand, he does. Passes right corner to Duran. Duran looking for the re-entry. Instead, has to pass it back up top. Ball is swung to the left side now. Into the low left for Rivera. He's double teamed on the block again. This time he travels. Yeah, good job of defending Jordan Knox and James Douglas. Very, very true. And going up against a bigger guy in Ross Rivera at 6'6". The Titans force the turnover on the travel. 8-1, Fullerton down with 12-16 left first half. What we've seen from players such as Jordan Knox, James Douglas the last couple of games is not a lot of scoring specifically, but really a lot of scrappy defense. Cal State Fullerton, again, the fourth leading team in the country in points per game, and they have been without a field goal now for the first eight full minutes of the game. Douglas drives the middle. Up top it goes for Vaughn. Vaughn comes in. He'll be called for charging. It looked like Tony Gill slid underneath him on the undercut, but they give it to Pacific on the call. And uh, with 11.59, we have a timeout on the floor. Tigers 8 and the Titans 1, if you'd believe that. But of course, if you would have had this game play out in the beginning of the season, it would be very unbelievable, given the Titans' struggles in Big West Conference play where they're averaging under 80 points a game. 
uh, hit Northridge, they could help the Titans out all by themselves. Titans could essentially back in. And the Titans have one three-point shot attempt. That was from Alex Harris on a badly missed shot from up top. Titans are 0 of 6 from the field, 0 of 1 from downtown. They have one point on a free throw by DJ Seeley, who split a pair. 8 to 1 Pacific ahead and with the basketball. Titans a man-to-man. -man. Ball goes right side on the bounce to Duran. Duran up top for Tony Gill. Left side it goes for Beatty. 20 on the clock for Pacific. Up top it goes for Duran. Duran swings through, goes left side for DeSosa. Our team three is good. Rodrigo DeSosa, first three ball make of the night for either side. Pacific's one of three, and they lead 11 to one. DeSosa in, three, in Big West play 47% from behind the arc. A Sao Paulo, Brazil native. Titans in the front court down 10. Ball is right side down the middle for James Douglas. Veering off to the right, he's shooting that off glass. He got contact, and he'll get two foul shots. First foul on Ross Rivera. Sixth foul already on the Tigers with 11-17 remaining first half. Kwame Vaughn bent over at the waist in front of Andy Newman as uh, he and the Titan interim head coach search for answers here. James Douglas, meanwhile, misses the free throw at the East End. Douglas, 73% free throw shooter, but not right there. James Douglas out of Orange Lutheran High School went to Northern Arizona where he led their team and was uh, on the... Uh, the Big Sky All-Freshman team makes the second of the two, and the Titans have two points to Pacific's 11. And no field goals. Still no field goals for the Titans. They're, they continue to be cold at 0 of 6. And they also are not getting a whole lot of shots. They have six shots and five turnovers. You think the Titans have three offensive rebounds. They only have six shots. I think a couple of those offensive rebounds was like blocks by Pacific. Inside of 11 minutes to go here in the first half, Pacific 11, the Titans 2. Ball is down the left baseline. Beatty, a pull-up fadeaway jump hook is no good. A one-hander rebounded by Kwame Vaughn. Front court pass to Seeley. Tigers are back defensively. Up top, it's Vaughn. Catch and shoot for three. Good. And DeSosa relaxed on defense, and he can't do that against the Titans. James Douglas in, seals the inbound pass, misses the layup. DeSosa gets it on the rebound. Titans had a chance for five in a row there, but James Douglas couldn't convert. At the basket, a point-blank layup. Fulton passes across the lane to Tony Gill. Gill's underneath to miss a couple of shots, and then missed one, in fact. Ball got slapped out of his hand before he could put up the second one, and the ball comes in the near corner, out of bounds for Pacific. 11-5, Cal State Fullerton trailing, but the Titans have scored four in a row, including the first basket of the night for the Titans, courtesy of a Kwame Vaughn three-pointer. Yeah, Vaughn's been struggling from the three-point line in conference play, only 28%, so it's good to see him with the stroke there. He hasn't taken a ton of threes in Big West Conference play, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of shoots one here, shoots one there, and the percentage is below 30. Trigger in the near corner for Trevin Harris. Harris brings it to the right wing on the pass to Samataku. Trevin Harris is a, a Kingwood, Texas native. Went on a Mormon mission, came back uh, to basketball, going to Western Wyoming, JC, before coming to Pacific a couple years ago. I'm guessing one of the only guys in the Big West Conference that's married. But he is something like 24 years old. The pass goes left side to Taku. Taku fires up a three-point shot. That's an air ball. So on the shot clock violation, it's out of bounds to Fullerton. I know there's a Hawaii women's player who's married. Camila Martin, I believe she is married. Actually, Fulton, oh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, Trevin Harris is not even the only guy on his own team that's married because Rodrigo de Sosa from Brazil is also married and uh, also has a child. Ball goes down the middle. Harris driving it in. And somehow the pass goes across the paint to Jared Brand. I think Harris had designs on shooting there, but he got slapped out of his hands. He forced the pass across the lane. And then Kwame Vaughn later in the sequence drives down the middle and misses the layup. Here's Pacific driving front court. Ahead 11 to 5. 9.20 to go here in the first half at Titan Gym. All Pacific at the start. But the Titans hanging around with tough defense. Bad pass by Fulton out in front, stolen by Vaughn. Vaughn to the basket to miss the layup, but got fouled apparently by Samataku, who was the only guy back. My mistake, that was Harris on the bad pass for Pacific out in front, which was stolen by Kwame Vaughn. And it's a Samataku, one of the top names in the Big West Conference. Along with Isaac Fotu and Deng Deng. Christian Stan Hardinger, Vander Watt, Hawaii's got them all. And Drake Yu Yu. Him from too, Cal from Cal Poly. And I like Peter Papajoj too. 11 to 5, Cal State Fullerton down, Vaughn at the foul line after the second foul by Samataku. So Taku's going to the bench along with Trevin Harris. Back in is Beatty, and for the first time it's Andrew Bach, a Creighton transfer originally from Rialto here in, in Southern California, an Eisenhower grad at 6'1 and a junior. Vaughn good on the first, good on the second. 9-11 to go 
in the first half. Pacific 11 and the Titans 7. Titans defending here down four. Close as they've been in a long time. Titans have actually scored six in a row. Driving the right side is McLeod. He's pushed away from the basket to the baseline. And uh, they call a foul on Kwame Vaughn. That's the fifth foul on Cal State Fullerton. And they call it on Chris Collins. I guess he was the ball defender. And so it's out of bounds. That's better for Fullerton, in fact. Collins a walk on getting the foul and Vaughn not getting the foul there. Uh, talk to Chris now they're Now they're discussing it. I think they might want to change it. Eh, maybe they won't. Well, for the Titans benefit, it's better if it is Chris Collins for the foul. Absolutely. 11 to 7, Pacific on top. And the Tigers, baseline trigger, nobody guarding the inbounder. Ball goes right side for Trevin Harris. Oh, <laughs> Travis Fulton. Three times now I've gotten those two guys confused. Up top it goes for Andrew Bach. Fulton sets the screen. Bach takes it to the right side. Bach to the free throw line. Bouncing low to Fulton. Fulton goes to the right side, looking for a jump hook shot on the right block. Got fouled in the act of shooting. Alex Harris on the foul for Fullerton. That's the sixth Titan foul. So no fouls to give for the Titans. Tigers are already in the penalty at seven fouls. And Travis Fulton at the line. 6'6 six, six and 220. A senior from Corona Santiago. Transfer from Irvine Valley Junior College. First free throw up and good. Fulton only averages about nine points, three and a half rebounds a game. But shoots it well from the field, 50%. Shoots a good percentage from the outside at 37%. And a good shooter at the line, 73%. Second free throw needs a bounce and gets one. 13 to seven, the Tigers, as they've snapped the Fullerton 6-0 run on the two free throws by the senior Travis Fulton. Is it me or this feels like a very strange ball game, Mike? Just a very strange start. Defensive, and not many games for the Titans have been that way. Ball goes left side, Seeley shooting a long shot. That was a three-pointer, had it gone, no good. Rebounded by Alex Harris. Fullerton keeps it up top, Vaughn. His shot, no good from three. Rebound on the right side by Collins. Collins fires it back up the middle for Harris to take it in to miss a lefty layup. Rebounded again by Chris Collins. He's on the floor after he was uh, knocked down. And Pacific reaches in to tie the ball. And Chris Collins showing some grit down low, getting those offensive boards amongst the trees. Chris Collins and Jordan Knox, the two walk-on guys, have really come on the last few games. The Titans have tried to get some more depth, even if it is with some guys who came onto the team as walk-ons. And now with Sammy Yeager out, uh, even more important, Vaughn triggering from the baseline. New shot clock for Fullerton. Ball goes right side for Seeley. Vaughn comes and takes it back on the right side. With eight minutes on the first half clock, Fullerton 13-7 down to Pacific. Pacific back in that zone defense they use on the inbound plays. Vaughn drives up top for Seeley. Three-pointer way off to the left. Rebound comes to the left wing, and Vaughn tracks it down. Fullerton gets it again. 7.40 remaining first half. Titans down by six. Up top is for Kwame Vaughn. Titans looking for answers against his zone defense. Ball goes right corner, catch and shoot. Harris for three. Rainbow three. Good. <laughs> Titans have cut the Pacific lead to 13 to 10. Alex Harris pressuring the ball in the backcourt all by himself. He is called for a foul guarding Lorenzo McLeod. And uh, the second foul on Alex Harris sends us to a media timeout. That's also the seventh Fullerton. at the line 
for a one and one coming out of the timeout, which comes with 716 remaining. That go-to player, Pacific doesn't really have one. Lorenzo McLeod, one and one here out of the timeout, 716 remaining in the first half. First free throw is good, as you'd expect. He's an 80% foul shooter. And Lorenzo McLeod, out of Compton High School, went to Santa Rosa JC. Actually, for only one year, he went to a JC in Texas as a freshman. He was a high school teammate at Compton of DeMar DeRozan, uh, who's in the NBA, and also Edgar Garibay, who's at Long Beach State now. And McLeod good on both free throws. 15 to 10, Pacific on top with 7-10 remaining in the first half. Ball goes left side for Chris Collins in the corner. Seven minutes on the first half clock. Up top it goes, Jared Brandon shooting a three. No good. Rebounded by Rodrigo de Sosa. Well, within two for seven from behind the arc. That's where they're basically getting all their shots right now. 15 to 10, Fullerton down and defending. After the dribble penetration, Fulton got it on the pass, brought it back up top. And now from the left corner, McLeod drives and puts up a tough shot with one hand, no good. Rebound tapped out in front by Vaughn to Seely. Titans running. Left side, Jordan Knox for two. The catch and shoot, a long two for Jordan Knox in transition for the Titans. Yeah, Jordan Knox, in confidence play, five for seven from the field. Is that the Titans' first two-point shot make of the night? I think it is. 15 yes, it is. 12. Pacific still on top with 6.20 to go, and the Titans fans are going to get into it. Interception on the post-entry by Jordan Knox, who tapped it to Chris Collins, and Collins got it to be fouled, and he'll be going to the foul line. Now, Khalil Kelly was set up on the right block. Jordan Knox was fronting, but because the Titans had a threat with backside help, that pass was thrown softly, and Jordan Knox could get to it, jumping up in front of the big guy. That foul was on Khalil Kelly, his first. Eighth foul on the Tigers, so Chris Collins at the line. He's not a very good foul shooter in the times he's been at the line. He's four for 11 this year. But trying to convert here, a 6'4 redshirt sophomore from Chino Hills, 20 years old. And the foul shot good. Let's see if Fullerton wins this ball game. And the way they've been playing the last couple of games, you can almost say that Jordan Knox and Chris Collins are most unsung heroes for this team. Unsung, maybe maybe as valuable in some ways as, as a Vaughn or a Sealy. Second free throw, no good. So the lead for Pacific stays at two, 15-13, 6-10 remaining in the first half. A low scoring first half at Titan Gym, very much in the Pacific style. They don't score a lot, they don't give up a lot. Ball is down the middle for Tony Gill, he gets a layup. Might have been the best offensive possession from either team there. I, I think he slipped a screen, he was screening away from the ball and then slipped that and went down the middle, unguarded. 17-13, Pacific on top, Collins trying for three from the left side, no good, rebounded, tapped to Pacific. The Tigers ahead by four with the basketball. Up top, it's Travis Fulton. Left side for Beattie. Into the low left is for Tony Gill. Titans double hard. Beattie takes a left side three off that double team of the post. And uh, Tony Gill passing back to the left wing and Beattie draining the three. And the Tigers have scored five in a row and they lead 20 to 13. Yeah, Beattie shooting 50% from behind the arc in conference play. That's second in the Big West Conference. 5.15 remaining. First half at Titan Gym. Pacific ahead by seven. They led by as many as 10. Turnaround shot in the lane by Vaughn is good. He drove in. Pacific took away the passing options, and Vaughn made a turnaround in front of the basket. Five minutes ago, Knox pressuring the backcourt. Rodrigo de Sosa almost stumbles and falls with the dribble. Now he's going to be fouled as he crosses the timeline. Knox went after him, but he is uh, going to give him a free throw opportunity to de Sosa. I was, I, was I was thinking, Knox, I love the aggressiveness, but he got to lay off when the time comes and just and just let Souza do his thing without getting called for the foul. I'm not sure if DeSosa uh, got fouled when he crossed the timeline because he tripped when he crossed the timeline. for Rodrigo de Sosa. Went to high school in Brazil. Misses the front end and rebounded by DJ Seeley of the Titans, 20 to 15. Pacific on top with 448 remaining here in the first half. Titans scratching and clawing to stay in this one and they're gonna get free throws here for Kwame Vaughn. He was working for position on the right side against Marcus Duran. Duran fouled him and Vaughn going to the line for a one and one. First foul on Duran. Nice Tiger foul, so this for the Titans is the last one and one. 4.44 remaining, first half. Front end missed by Kwame Vaughn. Rebound is tapped to the corner. Dive on the floor by Douglas to keep it alive. To the right wing it goes for, du for James Johnson. And Vaughn driving in, misses a layup. Boy, the Tides have had some chances here. They really could be tied. They missed a couple of gimmies at the basket. 
And Ivana, you don't expect to miss the front end of the one-on-one. Miss the front end of the one-on-one one and miss the layup driving in. After a good scramble hustle by James Douglas, got it to Deuce Johnson in that sequence. Here's a drive and a foul by Pacific. Rodrigo de Sosa is going to get free throws here. It'll be Pacific's last one and one. With 4.20 remaining first half, Titans down 20 to 15. De Sosa at the line. That was the first foul on Deuce Johnson for the Titans. It's been a long time since Deuce made it through any portion of a first half without picking up one or two fouls. So that he picks up his first at 4.20 left in the first half, not so bad. Travis Fulton checks in for Ross Rivera for Pacific. First free throw is made by De Sosa. So he gets the second one here. De Sosa with three points now. Three throw, no good. Rebounded Kwame Vaughn. 21-15 Pacific on top with 4.15 remaining in the first half at Titan Gym. Right side is Chris Collins. Collins has ditched the teal sneakers he's worn for such a long time. Going to a more traditional white and orange combination. Here's Vaughn to the free throw line. Right side, Douglas takes a long three. No good. A real brick that time for James Douglas, rebounded by DeSosa. Front court pass to Beatty. Titans are back, but Beatty wants to attack. Beatty stops on the right block and puts up a shot, having apparently kept his pivot foot down. Tough to tell. There's some bodies in front. Beatty makes the shot, and Pacific leads by eight. A transition chance there for Pacific, and they score the basket by Colin Beatty. 23-15, 3.30 remaining. First half. With Patrick Aylong and Mike Martinez here at Titan Gym. Still haven't gotten to the under four yet, so our next stop is Will. Take it to the media timeout. Vaughn trying to draw contact out in front. Goes down the middle. Right side, Douglas. Setting up for a three. They're going to call a charge inside on Vaughn. Oh, and the unfortunate thing is Douglas made his three. Yeah. Of so course. Double whammy for Cal State Fullerton. And that's the second foul on Kwame Vaughn. 318 remaining in the first half here at Titan Gym. Tigers. Their lowest scoring after the year, I believe, was 24 against UC from um, UC Davis at Riverside. The Aggies are up 27-15. Six minutes left to go in that game in the first half. So here at Titan Gym, 23-15, Pacific on top, with 3-18 remaining in the first half. Titan shooting four of 21 from the field, two of nine from downtown, only five of nine at the foul line. Pacific eight for 17. 2-4 from downtown, 5-7 of seven at the line. Dribble penetration and a layup for Travis Fulton off the drive-in kick, the drive-in dish by Tony Gill. And he's going to need the Pacific's biggest lead of the game at 10. It matches it. They led 11-1. Okay. So back to a double-digit lead after the Tides had got so close and had a free-throw attempt to cut it to one, missed it, and Pacific is gone on a 10-2 run. 2.40 remaining first half. Titans down 10 with a basketball, 12 to shoot. Up top, it's for Chris Collins. Collins drives left side for Douglas. Seven on the clock. Douglas comes in for a scoop shot with the right hand. No good. Rebound Tony Gill and James Douglas fighting for it underneath the Pacific basket. And it will be a tie ball and the arrows with Pacific. So the Tides will have the arrow right now for the remainder of the half and maybe into the second half. In the past when the Tides have struggled offensively, the defense also struggled. I think both games against Irvine when the Tides offense was horrible. The defense was horrible too, but it's... If anything, the Titans' defense is keeping them in this ballgame. That's very true. That's something that's actually good, a good sign for Cal State Fullerton. So many times, like you said, the, deep, the offense was bad, the defense was bad. Today, the offense is almost non-existent, but the defense has been tough. And the rebounding on both sides has been, has been a good effort for Fullerton. Not a lot of moral victories you could take here at this stage of the season, but the Titans are looking for some. Travis Fulton on the right block uh, got fouled on his shot as he was double teamed on the low right. Shot over the double team because it was kind of a couple of small guys guarding him. And uh, Fulton getting, the, getting to the line here with 2.04 left in the first half. Chris Collins picking up his second for the Titans. This won't be their best defensive performance in the first half against the Big West team. That was 23 against Cal Poly. But their second best was 28 against Riverside, and they're close to that right now. Travis Fulton has nine points for Pacific. He's got all three points for them at, after the media timeout. And he is their leading scorer for Cal State Fullerton. Kwame Vaughn leading the team with seven. Fulton, free he's, throw good. He's the first double-digit scorer in the game. He's already pretty much hit a season a Big West average, 9.7. With two minutes to go, his free throws giving Pacific a 27-15 lead. 
Backdoor cut, right side. Seely underneath to get fouled by Kelly. Pacific has a new guy in, that's Jordan Turner. Seely lost him on the baseline right and cut back door. Harris a good find on a bounce pass. Uh, Jordan Turner, 6'5", senior out of Oakland from Bishop O'Dowd High School. And there's a lot of NorCal players on both, I was gonna say on both teams. You have to guess that, that a lot of these guys, especially Seely and Vaughn, and then Jaeger too, if he was here and in the game. Maybe uh, Alex Harris also from Richmond. Alex Harris, absolutely, Richmond. from Richmond. Uh, free throw no good by Seeley. Titans continue to be bad from the foul line. They're five of 10. And Seeley is one for three. Vaughn is two for three. 151 left first half. 27-15, Tigers on top. Seeley, free throw good. 27-16 now down by 11. So that lead was 12 for a second. And we have 140 remaining first half. Titans defending down 11. High post for Tony Gill, 20 on the clock. Going down, oh, nice slip screen to the off ball screen again. And Travis Fulton getting to the basket wide open. And Gill helped that, faking the pass to the left side. And Fulton was open at the basket to score. Fulton has 12 points. Turnaround shot in the lane, no good by Chris Collins and the Titans. Down 13, we'll have to defend here with 70 seconds left in the half. Ball goes right side for Travis Fulton. Pacific, a team that really likes to slip screens. In the past, I've kind of noticed ball screens having been slipped today. They've slipped a couple off ball screens, and they've been open for layup. Tony Gill up top for three, buries it. 32-16, and the well, Titans fighting as they may are still down 16 as Pacific has uh, come into the final minute of the first half on a surge. They lead 32-16, 40 seconds left in the first half. Harris has it, up top for Collins. Collins takes it to the right side on the weave to Vaughn. Vaughn taking the dribble out in front. Left side for Harris, catch and shoot, long three, no good, way off and way short. Rebound Jordan Turner, and the shot clock is off for the Tigers of Pacific ahead by 16. So this is gonna be way, way the worst half for the Titans this year, first half, or otherwise. Scoring wise, and now, the, like we said, the offense, the defense is struggling a little bit now. Now it's back up to a 16 point lead. The Sosa with 10 seconds left in the half. Stops on the right side. Passes right side, and now the pass fired in low. A little bit high and behind Gill. The pass from Fulton could only be deflected out of bounds by Tony Gill. Six seconds left in the half, and the Titans will maybe get a look at a final shot. Ball is bounced up the right side for Harris. Harris splits a double team, goes front court. He wants to go all the way. Floater shot, no good. Rebound to Jordan Turner, and the half is over. Alex Harris, one of the fastest guys.